Okay. This song is called Advocate for Unknown Persons by Adam Goodbet, based on the original lyrics and music of Eminem. Defendant Adam Earl to the plaintiff, the city of Philadelphia, inspired by the song Rap God. Look, I was gonna go easy on you not to hurt your feelings, but I'm only gonna get this one chance, one business hour, one week, one business hour, one week. Adam Ehrlich, you're on. The plaintiff in a hypothetical conversation between the plaintiff's lawyers, the plaintiff's leadership, the plaintiff's police force, such as right there, and the plaintiff's uh, judiciary, and for sure, the plaintiff's person's unknown. Just are the cops. Some, something's wrong, I can feel it. Just a feeling I got. Like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. If that means what I think it's gonna mean, we're in trouble, big trouble. And if he's as bananas as they say, the plaintiff is not taking any chances. You, Judge Coyle, are just what the doctor ordered. Defendant Adam Earl. I'm beginning to feel like an advocate. Advocate. All the people from the streets take a nod. They are so lit. Got a fat nod from that legal entrepreneurial profit. Make a living without killing off of it. Ever since Michael Nutter was still in office with the plaintiff's overwhelming power. Feeling on my nutsack. I'm an Ehrlich who's still as honest. Being dealt with a city who is rude and indecent is all hell syllables. This flippity dippity hippity lawsuit. You don't really want to get in a pissing match with this rapidly monopoly master. I'm nine steps ahead of the plaintiff's illegal actions and I think much faster. And at the, and at the exact same time as I attempt these lyrical aerobatic briefs and defense stunts while I'm practicing that, I'll still be able to break with my counsel. I have things to say, it's a mouthful. If I represent pro se, if I got to, civil rights violations gonna cost you. Pro se is better than no say. I'm here to play, and legally that's okay. Truth. On the hypothetical ejection of a couple addicts addicted to crack and themselves cracked in half, I only realized it was ironic I was arrested on an easement for defiant trespass, and in the aftermath, after the fact, had my valid legal license to carry an unloaded gun confiscated for me in violation of my second amendment. How could the plaintiff's case not blow? All they do is drop unfounded acquisitions and, provide, and perform unlawful arrests, assaulting me physically and civilly in the process. Feel my wrath of attack. The people of Kensington are having a rough time period. They can't even afford a maxi pad. It's actually disastrously bad in Kensington as well as other communities in our city, state, and country. For the whack, even though the deck is stacked while masterfully constructing this foray into pro se, oy vey. I'm beginning to feel like an advocate. Advocate. All the people from the streets take a nod. They are so lit. Everybody wants a key and the secret to getting community respect like I've got. Well, to be truthful, the blueprint is simply, is simply community engagement and righteous exuberance. Everybody loves to root for a nuisance. The Honorable Christine Fasano Cannon states that the building is solely a nuisance. The plaintiff can't. The plaintiff's claims are obtuse and should not be considered of any relevance. In this case, and any motions hence. The plaintiff wants to hit my building like an asteroid and did nothing but shoot for all the unknown, the named, and unnamed defendants since. Pew! The plaintiff is gonna is gonna get taken to school with these musical legal arguments because I use as a vehicle to speak my mind with the power of autism and rhyme. Now I have a new case full of defendants. The plaintiff is trying to steal all our remnants. Our of people like Shayla Packnamer, TF, KDOT, CB, BHQ, Chicken Man, Redacted, D's Nuts, and Triple X. I was inspired enough to one day to one day grow up, blow up, and be in a position to meet the people of Kensington and indoctrinate them in the ways of motherfucking court of law. Even though citizens inject themselves with ice, powder, dope, xylazine, enemy number one right now, sleep in a church, pew, and their skin bursts into a ball of flames. The only Hall of Fame the city of Philadelphia will be inducted in is the legal Hall of Fame on the wall of shame. But I hope everybody remembers my name. You figures think it's all a game till I walk a flock of brave men and women and other unknown persons? Not in vain. Okay, city, here's your chance to tell me. What the fuck are you thinking? The city's accusations are a little gray looking boy. So gray I can partly barely say it with the straight face looking boy. You're witnessing a mass violation of civil rights looking boy. Looking like you're watching the Rock's Church gathering take place, looking boy. Oi, hey, their case is made, that's all they say, looking boy. You get roughed up and patted down, and a way to go from your allies every day, looking boy. 
Hey, looking boy, what do you say, looking boy? I got a hell yeah from those who care, looking boy. I work for everything I have. I am not a ploy, looking boy. The plaintiff never asked for shit. Get out of my face, looking boy. Basically, boy, you're never gonna be capable of keeping up with the same pace of this boy. I'm beginning to feel like an advocate, advocate. All my people from the streets often back nod, back nod. By the way, I'm racing around the track. Call me NASCAR, NASCAR. Dale Ern Earnhardt of the trailer park. Why trash God, trash God. So you be Thor and I be Odin. You rodent, I'm omnipotent. Let off all that I'm recalling immediately with these briefs, I'm toted. And I should not be woken. I represent the walking dead. But I'm not just a talking head while there are zombies floating. But I got the city lawyers deep throated. I'm not out of my ramen noodle. We have an awful lot in common, poodle. I'm Doberman, pinch yourself in the arm and pay homage, pupil. It's me, Adam Ehrlich, my honesty's brutal. But if it's not, hopefully not honestly futile. If I don't utilize what I do for good at least once in a while, so I wanna make sure while somewhere in this chicken scratch brief emotions, woo, there are enough rhymes and allies to maybe try to get some help for some people through some tough times, but I gotta keep a few punchlines just in case because even if your document's unsigned with a plaintiff hungry, looking at higher property values like it's lunchtime. I knew that there was a time where I was king of the property lines, but I'm still gonna fight like I'm on borrowed time. So I crunch legal lines, but sometimes when you combine the desire to do service of the city with the creative solutions of mine, you get too big. And here the courts come trying to sense you with that one line I said on pro se on the case here today. I take that from the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution of the U.S. of A. When I tried to say, when I tried to say, I take seven citizens in this community of mine, put them in a food line, get them clean works, water, and a roof sublime. See if I get away with it now that I ain't as quiet as I was. But I'm morphing into an immortal coming through that portal. The plaintiff is stuck in a time warp in a 1980s whirl. And I don't believe in these claims that you rhyme. You cite violations, but you won't open the door. And these, and I don't believe these claims that you rhyme for. You say violations, but you won't open the door, as I said. You write normal, fuck being normal. And I just bought a new ray gun from the future just to come and disintegrate ya. Like when I made the cops mad because my knowledge of the law and the rights made the plaintiff look bad. Joking with the man while I confiscated my legal pistol. My dreams for Kensington should not be solely be wistful. Man, oh man, this case will result in a 24 special on the cable channel. So Adam Ehrlich went straight to the radio stations the very next day. Hey friends, you know I'm gonna feel you because I'm a damn good bet. Adam Goodbet doesn't call for backup. Backup calls for him. I'm dealing with emergency motions coming at me at supersonic speed, appellate court. Um, I may be such a drama llama and believe in good karma. You're assuming I'm a human. What I gotta do to show to you that I'm superhuman, innovative, and I'm <coughs> and I'm made. <laughs> Okay, I may be such a drama llama who believes in good karma. You're assuming I'm a human. What I got to do to show to you that I'm superhuman, innovative, that I'm made of rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me and it'll glue to you. I've witnessed the devastating. I feel like more than ever demonstrating how to give the court and the city a feeling never fading. And I know that the plaintiffs are forever waiting for the day that I can say I fell off. They'll be celebrating because I know how to get the way to get them motivated. I make elevating movements. The plaintiff's arguments sell like unknown person's movements. Pew! Oh, he's too quirky and shady. The city's going to lose it. Well, that's what they do when they don't know how often they confuse it. I'm not doing good. It's shop because I found a hell of a way to fuse it. With The Rock and other nonprofits on the block, defend your legal rights or the plaintiff will make them lose it. I don't know how to make briefs like that. I don't know what words to use or legal formats to use. L let me know when it occurs to you when I'm ripping away at all these motions for people more diverse as you to the city of Philadelphia versus Kensington. It's curtains. I'm inadvertently hurting you. How many verses do I got to murder to prove to you that if you were half as nice, some mutual dialogue would suffice? Ugh. Adam Ehrlich, good citizen, on a mission. Look at those sheriff accolades. These skills brung me, perhaps full of myself, but still hungry. I bully myself as does the plaintiff because I make me do what I put my mind to and I'm a million leagues be above you when I speak to truth and tongues but it's still tongue in cheek fuck you but in my head there's something I can feel tugging and struggling angels fight with devils and here's what they want from me they're asking me to eliminate helping the people that the city council want to hate but if you take into consideration the fears and inflictions of unknown persons have then you may be a little patient and a little sympathetic to the situation and understand the discrimination, but fuck it. 
I'm handing out human aid and I buy them multi cases of lemonade, but I can't shelter battered women. How the fuck am I supposed to help save them? Don't mistake me for Satan. It's a fatal mistake if you think I need to be bankrupt or take a legal vacation inside a jail's facade and make our city fall on her face. And don't be a retard, be a king. Think not, why a king when you can be a hero? One week to save the triple X. I need your help. Good.